Hey, Dubertiers, welcome back to the show. I'm really excited for my guest today because he's focused on dog training, which is something that I know all of us need. And he had an interesting venture when he started up in Port-au-Prince, Haiti. He grew up on a horse ranch uh, with, you know, they bred horses and dogs. And so very interesting guy for us to talk to today. So Ben, why don't you introduce us? Thank you. I'm Ben Green, and you're in, you're tuned in to the Animal Innovation Show. Excellent introduction. So Ben, start us off, man. Tell us who you are and how you're innovating and helping animals. Sure. Um, so I'm the CEO and co-founder of Gentle Beast, which is an on-demand dog training and wellness platform designed to train humans to unleash the good in their dogs. Wow, I like it. You got that part <laughs> down. Uh, unleash the good in their dogs. Because we know, I mean, most of the time when it comes to training, it's the human that's causing the problems. Yes, it is. So tell me more. So, I mean, this is an app now that I can, I love the fact that it's on demand. So is it, walk me through the scenario. I have a problem with my dog and I pull out your app. Yeah. So the way our app basically works, um, it's like Duolingo or something like that. You sign in and you tell us what you want to work on, whether there's problem behaviors you want to solve, there's things you want to do with your dog. Then we want to learn a little bit more about your dog. What are they afraid of? What are the things, how do they react to different situations? Um, how old are they? What's their breed? all of these things that impact behavior. And based on all of those data points, we'll build a completely personalized path for building a better relationship with your dog. And the most important part about it is, it's not about getting your dog to do what you want, it's about having a strong communication channel. It's about being able to basically speak dog. And that means knowing about what's going on with your dog. So it's a lot more than just training, there's hygiene and enrichment and exercise and nutrition are all very important parts that all impact behavior. And we bring in experts to help you learn more about that and give you the toolkit to give your dog a better life. I like that because you said it's really about, it's communicating with my dog, right? I mean, obviously we speak a different language than our dogs do. So if we can communicate with them and they understand what our intent is and we can work together. Exactly. And it's something that we've been doing for 20,000 years, but the big difference is we're asking dogs to play a completely new role in society. We're no longer going out and hunting with them. They're not protecting our animals. Like they're sleeping at the foot of our beds. They're coming to brunch with us. They want to come to work with us. And we have a set of rules that are very human and are. Yeah. Well, I was going to say the two, the two behind you don't look like they're going hunting anytime soon. No, they are not. They uh, they had their exercise this morning, so they're having a good time. So I go through and I create a profile for my dogs, right? And you're, like you said, you're developing kind of like a customized training plan. So like, how does that work? And then how do I get connected with a trainer to help? Yeah. So um, by joining the app, you basically get your training plan. And a training plan is made up of courses. So courses are things that you want to learn. So they might be foundational skills like mm -hmm. sit, stay, um, that kind of thing. It might be leash walking or it might be something like, what should I feed my dog? And so we break down these courses into these bite-sized pieces that you can do in 10 to 20 minutes and are really designed to be uh, a group of things that you can do in a given week. Um, and so those are made up of modules of all different types. So you have videos of a trainer or certified behaviorist or veterinarian who is going to give you the context behind your dog's behavior and the behavior you're about to learn. And then we actually break those down in what we call skill builders, these step-by-step -step looping videos that really show you the breakdown of each step of teaching a cue. We'll also test your knowledge with quizzes and troubleshooting modules, which will help you get something right if you got it wrong in the first place. Um, and then if you need extra help, we also place you into text groups with other people with dogs of a similar de developmental stage. And the person who leads that group is a certified trainer. So you have direct connection to that person. And you're also building your own sort of private community of people who are going through the same thing. So you can learn from each other and you can learn from that trainer. And if you really need extra help, you can always book a one-on-one -on -one video session through us at a fraction of the cost for an in-person training session. Well, wow, so you guys have already gone out then and, and recruited and filtered out trainers and, as you said, vets and other behaviorists as well. Yeah, so it was very important to us to basically figure out who is the best in behavior right now. And behavior spans multiple things. So you have behavior consultants who are really dealing more with sort of problem behaviors like 
separation anxiety or reactivity. And you have sort of general obedience trainers who do doing sort of what you expect and what you think of really when you think of dog training. Um, but there are, are multiple different levels of these things. And trainers, even though they know a lot about dog, dog health and wellness, veterinarians know more. So we also bring in those kinds of experts and we work with partners to bring in those experts because at the end of the day, I'm a technologist, I'm not a dog trainer, and I'm not a veterinarian. So we bring in experts to help help guide people through that. Yeah, I was going to ask you, I mean, I, I was going to say, you, you must be like a dog trainer that came up with this idea. So so what is your background, Ben? I mean, take us back to the point where you had this idea for Gentle Beast. I mean, what's your background? Yeah, so um, it basically starts with these two behind me. So uh, Ellie on this side, um, I've had since college. She's she's my life partner. We've done everything together. And for a long time, I just kind of wrote off her behaviors, behavior issues. She was young. I didn't really know what I was doing, that kind of thing. And as I got older, we moved to New York. We got our second dog, Jane, in uh, during the pandemic. And Jane was a nightmare when we first got her. We learned that she had leash reactivity, um, but at the time we just thought she was aggressive. She was barking at dogs and lunging on the leash. And we tried YouTube videos and Googling and trying all these different things to do it ourselves. And the information out there was so contradictory. One site would say, use a shot collar. Another site would say, that's horrible and is beating your dog. And so we're like, all right, fine. Let's go work with a certified trainer or for, with a professional trainer. And we found a well-rated one off Google and got to work with them at $300 an hour in Brooklyn. And right away, it was basically us, him telling us that we are bad dog parents, that we're not doing it right, that we need to dominate our dog to get, get them to listen to us. Ouch. And it didn't feel right, right? Like that just doesn't feel good. Imagine you're a parent and like some your your kids' teachers are telling you that kind of thing. And so we went out and we, we tried to look for more and we ended up going through six or seven trainers before we really discovered um, the certification behind training. And this is really led by the CCPDT. Um, and there actually is like a scientifically backed method for dog training. And so we found someone who had that and it was a night and day difference. But at the end of the day, we spent hundreds of hours and thousands of dollars just to get to a place where we knew what we were doing with Jane. And then we had the trainer, right? <laughs> and so so that was mind blowing to me. And I started talking to a, a friend of mine, John Portman, who lived across the country in San Francisco and also got it, got his dog who happened to be reactive. And he had the same experience. He went through five different trainers. We started talking about it and said, how how is this still happening, right? It's 20,000 years into our relationship with dogs. How is there no regulation around dog training? How is there no like one central place to go for this stuff? And why is it so expensive? Mm -hmm. And so we talked with a bunch of people who adopted a dog during the pandemic and the details differed, but the story was the same. Finding the tools and information to train a dog is needlessly difficult and expensive. So we set out to fix it. Wow. So now you uh, you must have been like a technology app guy, right? You knew exactly what to go do. <laughs> so I've been working in technology for the past six years or so, um, but admittedly in marketing functions. So I know how to sell okay. technology um, and I know how to build a brand that people interact with. But I've been very lucky that I've worked with great technologists who have become advisors and friends and colleagues over the years and have helped really guide this. Um, so we're very lucky to have the network around us to, to allow us to build this kind of thing um, in, in the way that we really, really envisioned. So where does the name Gentle Beast come from? So it's, uh, there's, there's sort of the, the real answer and the, the branded answer. The real answer is I had a, uh, a bull mastiff growing up that we always refer to as, as the Gentle Beast because she was this massive thing and think of like the Sandlot, same kind of dog. Um, mm -hmm. So that was like where, where it first kind of came up from. But the idea is really the tension between like wild and tame. You have gentle and beast. And that's really at the end of the day what we want to remind people that dogs are not humans. And we have this bad inclination to look at dogs through the human lens and look at dog behavior through a human lens. And it's just not, I mean, they're more interactive with humans than any other animal, but they're not humans and holding them to the same standard is really bad. So we need to really keep in mind that this is an animal. This is an animal that is separate from, from a human. And that's what the brand is really trying to, to express. Nice. I love that. And I, I like the real story, right? I mean, I like the fact that, you know, you named it after a dog you had and and that, and obviously you you came out with this idea because you had a problem, right? And you're trying to solve the problem. So what 
So what makes gentle beast then different, right? Why, why can't I just call up the, you know, the person I find in the phone book and, and go to a pet training? Yeah. So the first thing is it's less expensive and that is going to be the case no matter what, no matter who you're working with, the software subscription is just less expensive and using pre-recorded on-demand video is also less expensive. But one of the things that, that you really get with Gentle Bees is we've validated all of the trainers that we work with. They have the highest certi certification levels, whether that's from the CCPDT, um, from the uh, Certification Council for Behavior Consultants, um, all of these all of these people that we work with are at the top of their game. We have PhDs in evolution. So when you work with us, you know that you're getting the highest quality information possible. And then actually how we produce the content is super personalized to you. There are hundreds of thousands of different personal paths that you can take for you and your dog based on all that information we talked about in the beginning of your behavior profile, but also how it goes while you're training. If you've got an issue, we're gonna point you in a different direction. And so it's sort of like choose your own adventure. What you do oh, nice. impacts what you get next. Um, so that personalization is a big differentiator and it's something that emulates what happens with a great in-person experience. They're gonna ask you questions around their dog. They're gonna give you tailored advice, which is something that YouTube and blog posts and books just can't give you, which are, the other options if you don't want to shell out a, a few hundred dollars an hour. Yeah. No. So I can imagine, like you said, I mean, you've, you've hired the best trainers and then you've, you've really curated a journey. And I like the fact that, like you said, it's, it takes a different path depending on what's happening because my dog is different than your dog and they're going to learn different and they're going to react different. And particularly if I'm not doing it right, it sounds like you've got tips and tricks and other ways that already built in. Yep, exactly. And and what you said is, is an important part. Dogs are as different from each other as humans are, right? Yeah. So at the end of the day, like not every dog is going to be lassie. Not every dog has the capacity to be the perfect dog that can do backflips and save Timmy from the well. But you can help your dog navigate the world better through training. And you can make both of your lives better by doing so. And as long as that's the goal for people, Gentle Beast is a great tool for them to use. Yeah. So now do I get a choice in my trainers? Do I get to, you know, I mean, how does that kind of work so I can find somebody that I'm comfortable in the way that they do things? So you would get a, you would get, would get a choice when working in a one-on-one -on -one scenario. We have a few different trainers that we work with there. Um, they are all sort of more generalist trainers. When we're talking about the pre-recorded video content, we bring in specialists for certain things. So this first set of courses that we launched is really focused on the first like six to 12 months of being a dog owner. So we have a certified behavior consultant and um, certified trainer, Alex Sessa, based out of um, Atlanta, Georgia, who runs Peach on a Leash Dog Training. Um, and she is fantastic when it comes to puppies and really helping people understand this is how you set your dog up for a happy, healthy life, which is why we worked with her on, on this project. And as we add more courses to it, so things like reactivity and aggression, we'll work with people who specialize in those things and maybe aren't using the same methods, maybe using things like cognitive behavioral therapy to deal with deal with those kinds of issues. Um, and of course, at the end of the day here, we're talking about a completely digital experience. And there's always a place for, for in-person dog training here. And there's places all throughout the experience where we're going to say, hey, this is something that's serious and you need to get this dealt with, like something like aggression or if there was a biting incident go work with a certified trainer. So we we really respect and, and love trainers and we want them to succeed, but we also want to give consumers an option that um, really kind of cuts through the noise, which, hap which happens in an unregulated industry. Yeah, I think it's really good that you said, I mean, it, you've curated a bunch of different experts, right? So yes, of course, there's the general training that I can get from my local strip mall, um, but when it becomes more of an issue or when my dog who's unique is, you know, reacting in a different way than the standard textbook says, it sounds like you guys have now created that other layer on top of that, which is really cool because you can do this, as you said, digitally. I don't need to find a local expert in my community because you've already got them right through the app. Right, exactly. And the other thing, too, is a, a great trainer is going to teach you how to train and is really gonna work with you, the person, and not really with your dog. Like our, our trainer that we found that changed everything for us, our first five sessions were all on Zoom. It was just talking with us. We then leveraged those tools and worked with our dog on our own, but it is much more about training the human than it is training the dog. And so 
Yeah. Part of the benefit of using something that's on demand is you don't have to schedule this. It doesn't have to be for an hour on the upside of town. It's going to take you three hours in total to complete. You can wake up from 8.40 to 9 o'clock and do 20 minutes of training, and you do that on a daily basis. Your relationship is going to improve with your dog. Yeah. No, I like that. It's very personalized, and it I can adjust it to meet my schedule. So, Ben, where are you taking this? I mean, this is obviously the initial launch of things and you know what's next what's the future look like well it's interesting i mean when you look at the dog training space it's super super fragmented there is basically no real leader i think petco really is the leader in dog training and for them it's really just a way to get people into their stores to buy products right so right. we really see gentle beast as an opportunity to build a brand to become the most trusted brand in animal companionship and what that means is we want to be the place you go when you have a question about your relationship with your dog. And it's not about, I want to get my dog to do X. It's, I have this problem that I'm working through, or my dog has this problem that I'm working We want to be known as that trusted resource that you can go to. And so we also want to expand the footprint of Gentle Beast. Right now, we're really focusing on that sort of first year that you have with your dog. But there are different life stages, right? You move from the city to the country, or you have a child, or you bring a second dog in, or an event happens that changes the dog's oh, behavior. Yeah. These are all inflection points that Gentle Beast can come in as a solution for. And the last part that, that I'll say is um, we have a program called Good Dogs, Good Dogs Do Good, um, where any shelter and rescue that wants Gentle Beast can get it for, life, for their lifetime for free for all of their fosters. Um, and the hope is that a more well-trained dog in a rescue is a more adoptable dog and less likely to be rehomed in the future. Well, I personally love the fact that you're supporting rescues and shelters because obviously that's what I do on Dubert. And, and I think that's really smart because it is hard, the life of a shelter dog, right? You don't always know what their background is, whether they had any training. And so being able to have a resource like that, a professionally developed resource like that, really can make a big difference. So thank you for doing that. Of course. I mean, I think it's it, it's a really interesting offshoot of what we're building is that if more dogs are trained, more dogs will be adopted and less dogs will be rehomed. And if we can move the needle on that, even the smallest bit, we'll feel accomplished. Yeah, because it is a, a common reason, unfortunately, why people return the animals to the shelter and they, they don't know. They don't know what the resources are that are out there. So that's that's really cool because you're you're proactively helping them to solve the problem they don't even know they're going to have, right? Um, exactly. I, I know myself, we've had different dogs and it's like you, if you don't know how to handle a very intelligent dog, like a German Shepherd, um, you know, sometimes they get the best of you and it comes very frustrating. So having the ability to tap into experts and things like that would really make, make it a lot easier. Yep. Well, this is this is really neat, Ben. I really I think it's cool what you're doing, and and I love the I think really what I love is the professionalism that you're focused on on building. Right? It's not just a game; it's really something that you're curating videos and and a journey, like you said. And I could see lots of opportunities for this to go in so many different directions. I mean, you could uh, help out all sorts of different dogs in lots of ways. Yep. And that's the plan. And the hope is that we can get gentle beasts in the hands of people right when they're thinking about getting a dog or right when they've got a dog. And like you said, a lot of training is very reactive, right? And gentle yeah. beast allows people to be proactive, to see what's coming around the corner. Like, hey, at four months, this is usually when biting really starts kicking in and when it can be a sure. problem. So here's the things you can do to curb that at month two. And that's the kind of thing that doesn't happen. You don't work with a dog trainer on day one. You work with a dog trainer when you got a problem. Yeah, people expect they get a puppy and they're just going to connect a leash and the puppy's going to go for a walk. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't they don't, think I've they ever don't met come pre-programmed. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, I don't think I've ever met a puppy that just went, oh, okay, cool. So you connect this thing and I just walk with you and, you know. Yeah, yeah. Dogs don't come with instruction manuals and that's why they're gentle beasts. Yeah, no, I love that. Ben, this is really neat. Love where, where you guys are going and, and I'm excited about, you know, what you're going to develop next. Is there anything else you wanted to mention before we wrap things up today? Yeah. Um, so we've recently launched and we have introductory pricing. So we're at $99 for a year. Um, and so you can find us on gentlebeast.com in the app store or in the Google Play store. And if you know of any shelter or rescue that, that can get used out of Gentle Beast and would like access for free, just shoot us a note at hello at gentlebeast.com. 
Very nice. I you, you covered the website and the app store and everywhere they can go download this and and give it a look. And like I said, thank you for what you're doing to support rescues and shelters. So as I Thanks as I wrap me. up the yeah, I mean, as I wrap up our show here, I mean, I always love to remind people that these ideas, like like Ben's idea, it starts with just a problem that you have. And there's so many things that people are doing that can help animals and the people that love them. So maybe you've been listening or watching and you know, you said, I've got a great idea for a product. Well, we'd love to know about it. Love to have you on the show. Just go to innovations.show and uh, fill out the form and we'd love to have you on it and talk about it. Anything that helps animals is obviously what we're interested in. And please don't forget to sign up to be a Duberteer. You can sign up at Dubert.com where you can volunteer to be an animal rescue transporter, a foster photographer. There's so many different ways that you can help our animals uh, that are in shelters and rescues. Uh, just go to Dubert.com to get started. So Ben, thank you again for coming on. Really excited what you're doing with Gentle Beast and really excited with what your mission is. Thanks, Chris. Glad to be here and thanks again.